Hi folks, it's Teresa. How's everybody doing today? Um, I apologize that I've been kind of MIA on doing some graveyard shift videos. Um, basically because I got a job. Thank God. <laughs> um, and I've been training. You know, it's going to be like part-time. You know, could lead into full-time but it's something for now, you know, and it's something that I like doing, something in mail. So I can't really say exactly what it is um, because of social media policies, blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyway, you know, um, so things are starting to look up. And I'm looking forward to tax season, so I might be getting some money back, which is a good thing because I really thought I was going to get crapped because of the money I took out of my 401k. So, unfortunately, you know, you know, but I'm going to get some of that money back. What she's barking at, I have no idea. I kind of put everybody in the other room because the cat starts getting into shit and her with her barking and good God. But, um, I mean, yeah, but, you know, if I get the amount of money that I think I'm going to get back, you know, from my uh, 401k, uh, which will help me do something big for my YouTube channel. Um, you know, and I'm thinking of other things to do as content too. You know, is go along with the paranormal and investigations and history and um, true crime, stuff like that. You know, um, you know, I was listening to Dalen Spratt, who is part of the Ghost Brothers, and he has his own YouTube channel, Graveyard Shift TV, um, you know, and how he is, you know, expanding his YouTube channel and doing other things, you know, creating content, you know, to be more creative for people to watch, you know, because like, like they were saying this morning, like, TV isn't in about, like, getting a part on a show anymore. Like, you can do your own thing, you know. And if I can do things myself and, you know, um, have that freedom one day where I can go out there and just say, I want to do an investigation here, I want to travel here, I want to travel there, you know. Um, I think that'll be neat. That'll be really, really good, because that's what I like to do. I like to travel. I don't like to sit in one spot. Um, you know, I want to go back home, you know, back to New Jersey. There's some places I want to visit in New Jersey, um, Pennsylvania, um, driving through West Virginia, you know. Um, like when I travel to go home, I'll stop and do a, a spirit talker session or, you know, find out the history um, you know, and like I said, the big one I want to do, it's in Florida, um, you know, which is only about, maybe about an eight, nine hour drive from where I am right now, um, you know, but I want to do these things, you know, and like I said, once I get my taxes and I get back on my feet a little bit more, you know, I'll be able to go out and do whatever, you know. Um, build my YouTube channel up, build my fan base, build um, my algorithm on um, views and subscribers and stuff like that. I mean, that's what I'm hoping to get over a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. And I'm hoping that it's even more, you know, but like I got to really put some work into it, you know, I got to get some new equipment as far as with phones videoing, I gotta learn editing, and all that other stuff, you know. I'm just trying to get my brain together, because some days I'm all over the place, and 
I don't, I don't have the attention span for just one thing, you know. And then I got other things on my mind, like my finances, you know, keeping a roof over my head, uh, you know, food on the table, my animals fed, you know. And then my brother got sick, you know. Um, he's supposed to go to the cardiologist today, so hopefully I'll have an update on that, you know. So it's just a lot going on, you know. And, you know, it's just it's starting to calm down a little bit, you know, things going on in my apartment complex with this cable internet crap that they want to throw on you. Um, yeah, that's another discussion, um, which I don't think is fair, you know, because, okay, they get a, some kind of discount or, or a group rate or whatever, you know, and they sign a contract for like two to five years or something like that, and then they want you to buy into it, you know, and I don't even, I don't want cable. I only watch internet, I stream, I'm a YouTuber, you know, I mean, I don't even really even pay for Netflix and Hulu and all them other stupid channels, I can watch YouTube, it's free, you know what I mean? Why should I have to, I mean, I grew up with free television. And then when they changed everything and they went digital, then they start charging you for this and charging you out the wazoo for that. You know, I want to save some money. I want to put some money back in my pocket. I don't want to be paying for big corp, big corporations to, you know, get in my bankroll. No. You know. Um, so, you know, needless to say, that's my rant on that bullshit. I think it's crap. You know, I don't think it's fair. Okay. Because there's some people that don't watch TV, or they'd rather have an antenna. They don't. They can't afford that. They're on a fixed income, you know. Um, I'm just waiting to get through to legal aid again, you know, to find out what I could do. Uh, just so much, so much crap. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just. You know, all these investment bankers, Wall Street, buying up all these properties and charging people outrageous fees for this, that, and the other shit. You know, when you're living in a, in just a, a closet in an apartment, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it's okay, it's got room, you know, but the other place I lived in was bigger. You know, it had an upstairs, you know. Had two bathrooms, you know, that I like. I like stuff like that, but unfortunately, I had to take what I could get on the way. So, you know, but do I plan on staying here forever? No, I really don't. You know, um, I want to wait for things to die down as far as with the rental market, you know, start pulling my coin together for those particular times when I'm gonna move and where I'm gonna move, where I'm gonna stay, you know, someplace I wanna stay, you know, I mean, I moved from one place to another to get peace and then I'm getting kicked in the ass again for bullshit, you know, because of my lease renewal and my God, I just got here, you know what I mean? But it's just all these rich mofos you know, you want to come in and grant you, I ain't mad at you for being rich and doing what you're doing. I mean, you buy up complexes, you're making a bank, okay? Down here, North Carolina, taxes are cheap. So, you know what I mean? What are you really paying in property tax? Probably not that much, you know, as you would if you were being back home in New Jersey and New York, you know. But... You know, I mean, I'd like to own some real estate myself. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You know, I mean, it is a lucrative business to get into. You know, you develop your income on your equity. You know what I mean? But interest rates are just very high right now. And But, you know... They need to calm down on these rental prices and these fees that they charge people, administration fees and blah, blah, blah. Like, what? 
just for somebody to type up paperwork from a third party contract company? Like, really? How much does the paper cost? You know, I don't know. It's just everything's AI. Your signature's AI. You know, like, you don't even sign anything anymore. They don't even teach cursive in fucking school. Like, everything's on a click. Click. There, that's your name. That's your signature. You know, I mean, where's the legality in that? I mean, to me, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I could see if it comes up with a screen where you use your finger and you physically sign it. Okay. That I could go for. But if you're just going through a list of how your name is spelt and there's fancy smancy ways of... That's not my signature. Like, to me, it's not. You know. But anyway. You know. I'm not going to go on a long rant about that because I'm going to just keep it open. But, you know, I'd like to do some reaction videos. I'd like to do some, like I said, like right now, talking head videos, um, giving my opinions on stuff. And, you know, they got all this stuff out about now Gypsy Rose, these other cases, Sean the Van Ark, the one that just got sentenced just today for... Uh, torturing and starving her 15-year-old special needs child. What the fuck is that? Come on, people. What are people doing? You know, um, she just got sentenced to life in prison without parole. Good. Good. You know, you're smart. You're magna cum laude. You graduated first in your goddamn law school. You know, you worked for the court clerk, and then you're going to do that to a child. Like, where's the intellect in that? I don't find the intellect in that. I find that that's evil and disgusting. You know. And then there was another case in Florida, Pennsylvania, I believe, where the stepmother gave a two-year-old or a three-year-old acetone, nail polish remover, poison the child. I'm just, I'm just, you know what I mean? Um... I mean, do I agree with what, you know, the situation with Gypsy Rose? No, I don't agree murder with, but, you know, I'm not her. I'm, I'm not in her shoes. The girl's got a lot of issues that she has to work through for the rest of her life, you know, at the hands of her mother. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I feel that part, you know. Um... Like, I can see, okay, she learned the manipulation from her mother. She learned this from her mother. She learned that from her mother. But that's all she knew. She knew lies. You know, unfortunately, when you're brought up in lies, that's all you know. Because the truth is distorted. Okay? And then you got the other case with the other two nut jobs in Utah. Uh, Ruby Frankie and uh, Jody Hildebrandt. You know, are supposedly being sentenced on the 1st of February um, for torture and abuse to their children. Well, Jody did it to Ruby's children and Ruby allowed it. Like, come on, you know. And then she's got this connections and she's just like, there's the truth and then there's distortion. We want to live in truth. Everything else, emotions, is distortion. What are you even talking about? Do you even know what you're talking about, bitch? I don't think so. Seriously, like, like, okay, excuse my language. I hope YouTube doesn't flag me on that, but I'm not making this for children either, you know, but <laughs> these people are disgusting. Like, where did, you know, but goes back to their upbringing, you know what I mean? There are, and it is a proven fact that people that were abused that have children will abuse their children. Hurt people hurt people. You know what I mean? Do is it right? No, it's not right. But if you don't teach your child the the right way of doing things, you know, and I'm not saying that all children turn out bad because they don't, you know, but is it, you know, is it right for you to put that that curse onto 
another child or somebody else. You know, but this is how the mind gets to get just, you know, the cult, the cultish, cultish minds, you know, we got, I don't even want to go into the political cult, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, you know, but anyway, you know, um, I'm going to try to keep this clean, <laughs> you know, it's just some things I just can't. Like, why? 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 I mean, look at Charles Manson. Charles Manson told his followers, do something witchy. Had blood on his hands. They went and killed and uh, massacred a whole bunch of people. Okay. Um, who else? Jim Jones. He told all of his followers, drink the Kool-Aid. And they did. Some didn't, you know, some were got, by the grace of God, got out, you know. But, you know, when do you break that cycle? You know what I mean? And that's what I believe Gypsy Rose has to do. She has to learn to break that cycle or else she's just going to bring that into her life anywhere she goes. You know what I mean? And I, I pray everything works out for her. You know, do I believe Nicholas Joda John should be getting in jail for the rest of his life? No. Do I believe he needs mental help? Yes, okay. I have family members with autism, you know, with multiple personalities and this and that. There is help, there's help, you know what I mean? But our justice system just isn't capable of that. You know what I'm saying? That he has to go in for diminished capacity in order to, for the, the judge and get another trial and for them to figure out, you know, if they're gonna switch his sentence or to be in placed in like a, a mental institution or something like that, you know. Um, there's just a lot of things. There's a lot of things, you know, that our society is just so bad with, you know. Our justice system is a two-tier, you know. It needs help, especially our juvenile justice system, um, you know, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Do your own research, you know, these are the things that I've experienced in life and I have seen, I have researched, you know, I'm not, neither what I say is right or neither what I say is wrong. So, you know, just like with the paranormal, you know. I believe the dead walk among us. I believe that spirits can go anywhere. They don't have to be in the conjuring house or here or there or everywhere. You know, you know, some of them places, okay, they're cool to see and watch on TV and, you know, but yet a lot of it's just entertainment. You know, what's real and what's fact or fiction, you know, unless I go and see for myself and I say, hey, yeah, you know, these spirits do walk among here. I mean, I got spirits all over my complex here, you know. Um, I've had conversations with soldiers. Who knows how old they are? Or I mean, in spirit, I don't know how spirit world edges, ages, I have no goddamn clue. You know what I mean? But I do believe that, you know, there are people there are entities, well, spirits, I don't call them ghosts, I say spirits, because we're all energy. Our spirits are energy, you know, and we, when our body dies, our energy still remains. Um, our spirit remains. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna go, because I got a few things I gotta do today. Um, I just thought I'd give you a brief synopsis of what's going on and why I haven't filmed and whatnot. So, but anyway, everybody, like, comment, subscribe, you know, maybe give me some ideas of what I could do or whatever. 
you know, and uh, we can go from there. So, thank you everybody in Teresa's Spirits channel. You know, if you do subscribe and you watch my content, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's all I can say, thank you. God bless and have a great day. I'm dying.